Hey guys, welcome to VTech Academy. And in this presentation, we are going to discuss about how to divide numbers in easy and a quicker way. Let me explain you with an example. So let us divide the number 2160 with 144. So let us calculate. In the first step, let us consider the divisor that is 144 and break the divisor into its own factors that is 144 can be broken into its factors like say 6, 4 and 6. Okay, this is nothing but 6 multiplied by 4 is 24. 24 multiplied with 6 is 144. So 6, 4 and 6 are the factors of 144. So the next step is dividing 2160 with its first factor that is 6. So 2160 divided by 6 we get uh, let me draw a rough column to show you complete calculation. You can even do this mentally, but let's try to do with this rough column and help you to understand the concept. So 2160 divided by 6, we get 6 3 times is 18. So 21 minus 18, we get 3. Take the next number 6 down, that is 6 6 times is 36. So the remainder here is 0. So take 0 to the question. So the result for 2160 divided by 6 is 360. Now what you have to do is take the result 360 and divide it with the next factor that is 4. So 360 divided by 4 we get the result as 4 9 times is 36. So 90 is the result for 360 divided by 4. That was simple I guess. Now the result 90 is to be divided with the third factor that is 6. So 90 divided by 6 we get 15. 15 times 6 is nothing but 90. So the final result for uh, 2160 divided by 144 is 15. So in this way, the bigger calculations can be easily done by breaking the divisor into its own factors and then calculating with each factor each time you can easily find the result. So let us try to do one more example. So let us divide the number 6528 with 192. So now break the divisor that is 192 into its own factors that is 192 can be broken into its factors like say 8, 6 and 4. Okay. So the next step is divide the number that is 6528 with the, its first factor that is 8. So 6528 divided by 8. So let's again, once again do in a rough column that is 6528 divided by 8. Six, 8 8 times is 64 65 minus 64 is 1 so take the 2 that is next number downwards so 8 1 says 8 so 12 minus 8 is 4 so again bringing down the third digit that is 48 so 8 6 times is 48 and the remainder is 0 this uh, quotient which remains as a result should be written over here and then the result 816 is to be divided by the next factor that is 6. So 816 divided by 6 we get let's again divide in order of column. So 816 divided by 6, 6 1 times is 6, 8 minus 6 is 2, bring 1 downwards, 6 3 is 18, 21 minus 18 is 3. So bring the third digit that is 6 downwards and 6 6 is 36. The remainder is 0. The result is 136. So 816 divided by 6 is 136. Now the result 136 is to be divided by the third factor that is 4. 136 divided by 4 we get the result as 4 3 times is 12 and 4 times is 16. So 34 is the result. So the final result for 6528 divided by 192 is 34. So let us consider one more example. Let us divide uh, 27,648 with uh, 384. This seems to be a bigger number. So uh, first step is break the divisor that is 384 into its factors. So 384 can be broken into say 8, 8 and 6. Okay. So the next step divide the number that is 27,648 with its first factor that is 8. So 27,648 divided by 8 we get the result as 8 3 is 24, 6 8 4 is 32 and 8 5 is 40 and 8 6 is 40. 3 4 5 6 is the result for 
27,648 divided by 8. Now the result 3456 is to be divided by the next factor that is 8 again. So 3456 divided by 8, we get the result as 8 fours is 32. 432 3456 divided by 8 is nothing but 432 now 432 is to be divided with the third factor that is 6 so 432 divided by 6 we get the result as 72 so the final result for 27648 divided by 384 is 72 so let us take one more example so let us divide the number 39,312 with a three digit divisor that is let's take 504 okay 504 is again a bigger divisor now the first step is to break the divisor that is 504 into its own factors so 504 can be broken into say 8 into 7 into 9 okay so 8 7 and 9 are the factors for 504 now the second step that is dividing 39 312 that is the number 39312 with its first factor that is 8 so 39312 divided by 8 we get the result as 8 4 times is 32 and 8 9 times is 72 then 8 ones and 4 4914 is the result so now the result 4914 is to be divided with the second factor that is 7 so we get the result as 702 so 4914 divided by 7 is 702 now the result 702 is to be divided with the third factor that is 9 so 702 divided by 9 we get the result as 78 so 78 is the final result for 39312 divided by 504 so hope you understood the concept do subscribe to our channel for more updates Thanks for watching. Have a nice day.